Okay, let's jump forward 100 years to the year 2120. Come on, play along. You're in the stands for the finals of your beloved sport, fencing. Your two favorites are going up against each other. Lightsaber noises are the most intense sounds in the room. You can almost feel the walls vibrate. Plasma going up against plasma. The contestants are both wearing protective gear made from a material plasma can't cut through. <laughs> That's the sound they make when they're cutting through air. Steel fencing swords are a thing of the past. Lightsabers are what's cool now. Just the other day, during Thanksgiving, you could see your neighbor from your window. He was using his own lightsaber to cut through his turkey. All his knives must have been dirty. He sent you a picture afterwards, and as it turns out, it ended up being a little too well done after the heat from the plasma. Well, back to this year. Lightsabers are still not real. But they are something everyone would love to get their hands on. They're about as futuristic and fun as swords can get. Imagine a blade made of plasma that comes out and retracts whenever you want, and the only thing you have to carry around is a handle. In Star Wars, they were also called laser swords. Well, it makes sense. Remember those tiny little lasers you played around with when you were a kid? Those were fun. They were of the size of your finger and could help you point at anything. They had that red light that came out from one end. Cats went nuts for them too. They still do. If you have a laser and you point it at the wall with your cat paying attention, it'll instantly run at it. If you turn it off, they'll be all confused and start looking everywhere for it. <laughs> Some dogs, too. In the movies, lightsabers are used both offensively and defensively. There's no need for a shield like in ancient times. They also cut through almost everything except other lightsabers. Still, the one thing Star Wars Universe has that we don't is the material that makes lightsabers possible. Kyber crystals. Those don't actually exist. Technically, building a lightsaber is possible, although hard, since, you know, we're not Jedis or Mandalorians. The first thing you need to make your lightsaber dream a reality is plasma. And you might be wondering, what exactly is plasma? It's superheated matter, and often called the fourth state of matter. The first three states are solid, liquid, and gas. Plasma makes up over 99% of our visible universe. At night, you can see it in the form of stars, nebulas, and those lights you can see at the North and South Poles. It's controllable, too. With the help of magnetic forces, you can mold and shape plasma. But for it to work like it does in the movies, you'd need very large and bulky equipment, and that wouldn't exactly fit in your hand. We don't know for sure what size it would have to be, but imagine, it's the size of a car. All excited, you tell your friends you have a lightsaber, but it's in your garage. Still, very impressive. You all walk to your house, open your garage door, and there it is. Your very own bulky, large plasma equipment thing. It has a switch on the side for the plasma to come out. You press it, and a two-foot beam of blue plasma flies up to the ceiling. Your friends are in awe! It's the first time they've seen the fourth state of matter. After you turn it off, you can see the spot on the ceiling where the plasma hit. It left a mark. It's definitely not safe to store outside. What if someone tries to play with it? This equipment would also need to be as powerful as a nuclear reactor. Let's leave those at the nuclear power plants for now. There are people who already built a somewhat realistic lightsaber, or proto-saber. The way they did this was by having the plasma eject out of a metal handle. They had to carry around a backpack to fuel the plasma, otherwise it wouldn't have worked. The key ingredient for this whole thing is laminar flow. Laminar flow is when the particles of a fluid all flow in parallel lines. The other type of flow is more wacky, scientific word, which is where the particles flow randomly and in opposite directions. If it wasn't for laminar flow, the plasma from the lightsaber would take off in any direction it felt like. The lightsaber's fuel is liquid gas, which, combined with oxygen and a spark, allows the plasma to flow in a straight line and to be controlled. So, to start with, the gas from the fuel backpack flows in a laminar flow, which is then directed into the lightsaber's handle. The fuel has to be highly concentrated. Then, you need a spark. After this, the plasma will be ejected from the handle, and that's it. You've got a lightsaber. This plasma beam will burn at insanely high temperatures, which means it can cut through a lot of stuff. Or, you know, burn it. All this means is that, technically, a real-life lightsaber is possible. 
but you'd have to lug around a massive backpack with fuel and combine it with oxygen to ignite it, which is a very dangerous thing to do. But unlike in the movies, it's not sturdy like a sword would be. It's a flow of plasma. And when you try to cut things with it, the plasma flow won't stay exactly the same. Another option for a real-life lightsaber is a proto-saber. Proto-sabers need fuel to operate and are very dangerous too. Simply put, they're really hot blades that burn so bright they'd have almost the same appearance as a lightsaber. Now, if you still want a lightsaber but don't want to take the risks that come with it, awesome LED lightsabers exist. They're fairly simple. Usually, they're just a tube that contains an LED. And when you press the button that turns it on, it shines bright like a real lightsaber. Some of them will make the zoom noise, too. They're a thousand times safer, and you can even buy them as gifts. There's also the option of a laser lightsaber. It's just a handle, like a normal laser, but a lot more powerful than the ones you used to play with. These ones come with warnings because of how powerful they are. You might even have to wear glasses to protect your eyes. They can even be powerful enough to cut through stuff. Okay, but what if you just want to play with plasma but not a lightsaber? You still can. There are plasma globes you can buy and play around with. A plasma globe is a glass sphere that contains a lot of odorless, colorless, single-atom gases that won't explode or anything. They have an electric conductor in the middle, and when you feed some voltage through it, you get plasma inside the globe. Because your body conducts electricity, when you place your hand on one of these globes, energy flows into it. It's pretty cool, because you can see plasma in action with the help of a small container. BAM! (laughs) Technology! When real lightsabers come around, we're probably going to be at a place in time where spaceships might actually exist. I mean, real spaceships. Okay, picture this. You wake up one morning feeling like you want to take a trip, but not to anywhere on Earth. You've already seen too much of it. So you pick up your lightsaber handle and put it safely in your pocket. Then you take a look at your wristband, tap it twice, and your holographic phone pops out. Book me a seat two weeks from now on the next Earth to Mars flight, please. And you go about your daily life. You walk out the door and get on your wheelless motorbike. It has jet propellers where the wheels should be, and they swirl around so you're able to control the direction you're going. After taking the the high-up-in-the-sky invisible road made just for flying vehicles, you arrive at your office. You sit on your comfortable chair, ready to get some work done. Today, you're in the mood for something different and you decide you want to work in Paris. No worries, you turn on the holographic scenery, and there you are. Two weeks later, you embark on the spaceship you bought a ticket for earlier that month, ready for a new adventure. What a life! Hey, doesn't that guy over there look like Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs>